One of the core components of a first year medical student's education is their anatomy lab. And here at UBC, our anatomy labs are linked to the cases of the week. So the students typically have one afternoon a week where they come to the lab where they will dissect cadavers to learn the core anatomy as it relates to the clinical cases that they're exploring. One of the drawbacks of dissection, however, is that as you're going through it and as you're revealing structures and showing them and learning about them, you're also altering the way they actually present in the body. Radiology is really a window to the human body. Uh, every day around the world, thousands and thousands of images are used to diagnose disease and they're really based on anatomic principles. The anatomy visualization table weighs about 500 pounds. Uh, it's five feet by three feet and it's like a giant iPad. You can use it flat like a table so students can gather around it and work as a team or you can tilt it up like a blackboard and use it more in the traditional instructional fashion. The table is able to take data from typically CT scans and enhance them into 3D images which then can be rotated and zoomed and even sliced. When the radiology department first approached me with this idea of the Sectra table, I was really skeptical. Well then, we started to explore this technology and look at how it can be used, and I was completely amazed. You know, cadavers come with certain diseases that students every year uh, find, but it's rather uh, random, and what we can do with the anatomy table is take a more strategic approach to the understanding of disease and load up uh, images from diseases that we're covering at the time. I was very adamant that I needed to see how it is used in medical school curricula. And so I traveled to Sweden to um, talk to faculty and to students who are using the Sectra table in their medical school curricula. And it was the feedback from the students that really convinced me. Um, the students were using this technology to go really deep into the anatomy. They told me that when they hit the wards in their clerkship and they were uh, confronted with uh, imaging technology and uh, radiographs, they could translate their core anatomy knowledge into that clinical presentation very easily. One of the principal goals of the new curriculum that UBC launched in its medical school last September was to integrate more uh, early in the program clinical and clinical understanding of disease. And uh, the arrival of the table is very helpful in that regard in that it allows us to visually show students the relationship between organs and between uh, normal anatomy and disease. We found support for the table by engaging uh, one of the donors in radiology, Dr. Greg Louie, who is not only Chief Medical Officer at London Drugs, but also a radiologist. So he instantly understood the relevance of this table to undergraduate teaching and uh, was quick to support uh, this uh, vision of ours. With this Sectra table now, we can bring that radiology component into the lab. Students are going to be working on the donated bodies um, that they will do their dissection on. And when they have learned the anatomy there, they will then have the opportunity to come to the Sectra table and correlate what they've just learned to living anatomy as captured in imaging.